Hello, and welcome back. I'm your host, Rebecca. Have you ever been going crazy trying to determine the cost of using WhatsApp Business API? We totally get that. It's unclear, especially with WhatsApp's changing pricing policy so often. But worry not, this video will break down the latest WhatsApp pricing update, which kicked in on June 1st, 2023. So let's get started. How does the WhatsApp API pricing model work? Businesses are charged based on how many conversations they have with their customers. But the costs also depend on what kind of conversation it is and where the customer is from. Other fees might be tied to using WhatsApp Business API besides WhatsApp conversation costs. For example, you need to consider fees from the WhatsApp Business Service Provider that you'll likely use, short of BSP. The BSP acts as the intermediary since WhatsApp Business API doesn't have an interface. These fees can vary depending on such things as hosting and pricing plans. In addition to the BSP messaging fees, BSPs typically charge a monthly fee for additional services, such as API access, messaging tools, and other features to manage conversations effectively. All right, but how exactly does the conversation-based pricing model work? WhatsApp charges per conversation based on the numbers and categories of conversations you have with your customers. There are two kinds of conversations on WhatsApp, user-initiated, now called service conversations, and business-initiated, WhatsApp defines service conversations as any user-initiated conversation, such as to resolve a customer inquiry. A service conversation starts when you respond to a customer who messaged you first. For example, if a customer asks about their appointment time and you reply within 24 hours with a free form message, it's considered a service conversation. Besides these 1,000 free service conversations each month, there are ways to get your customers chatting to you for free. You can use Facebook's call to action buttons or click to WhatsApp ads. When a customer starts a conversation through these free WhatsApp entry points, it opens a 24 hour customer service window and you won't be charged. Within this time, you can respond with a free form message at no cost. Once you send a response, the messaging window extends to 72 hours. During this time, you can send as many free form messages as you need for free. If the customer replies, another 24 hour customer service window starts, allowing you to send messages again. Once the 24 hour customer service window expires, you can only reply to customers using pre-approved WhatsApp templates to start a new conversation. Remember, even though the conversation that starts from the ad is free, the ad itself is not. To learn more about WhatsApp ads, see the description below. So far, we've been talking about user-initiated conversations. However, we need to explore another type of conversation, business-initiated conversations. As a business, you take the first step and start a conversation with your customer. However, you can only do this using WhatsApp templates previously approved by Meta. If you choose Como as your BSP, you can easily create and get your WhatsApp templates approved without leaving the platform. Now, when you start a conversation using a template, WhatsApp charges fees whether or not you receive a response. The conversation begins the moment you send this template, meaning you can send your unlimited messages to your customer within the next 24 hours. You are only paying for the first business initiated message. There won't be any extra charges for consequent messages. But if you send a message with a template from a different category during that 24 hour window, a new conversation will start and you will be charged separately. 
Another important part to remember, you can only initiate conversations with customers who have opted in to receive your messages beforehand. It's crucial to respect your customer's privacy and get their consent. So ensure they're willingly receiving messages from your business. Business initiated conversations fall into three categories, marketing, utility, and authentication, and they have different pricing. WhatsApp defines marketing conversations as business initiated conversations to market a product or service to customers, such as relevant offers to customers who have opted in. The only way to start a marketing conversation is by sending your customer a message about a limited time offer. This sparks their interest and can potentially lead to a response or purchase. Now, WhatsApp defines utility conversations as business initiated conversation related to a transaction, including post purchase notifications and recurring billing statements to customers who have opted in. One example of utility conversations is when your business sends a reminder message. The last category is authentication. These are business initiated conversations that enable businesses to authenticate users with one-time passcodes at multiple steps during the login process, such as account registration, account recovery, and integrity challenges. Authentication conversation starts when you send a message to a customer that contains a one-time security code or if your customer is creating an account or has issues with logging in. Let's break down how WhatsApp charges businesses for these messages. Firstly, different types of messages have different costs. For example, Business initiated conversations usually used by marketing and sales teams typically cost between 0.5 to 15 cents per conversation. The reason why marketing conversations can result in higher costs is because they contain promotion. However, to emphasize this one more time, even though businesses pay for conversations, they are strictly prohibited from spamming their customers. As a business, you must adhere to WhatsApp business messaging policy and only send promotional messages to customers who have agreed to receive them. Sales teams usually engage in utility conversations to help them with sales. However, let's clarify. The conversation category varies depending on your business goals and strategies. Support teams mostly use service conversations to answer questions and solve problems. It's really important to reply fast within the 24 hour customer service window. As mentioned earlier, during this period, you can send as many messages as you need without paying extra. If a support representative fails to respond within 24 hours, they must start a conversation using a pre-approved WhatsApp template. But since you get 1,000 free conversations per month, and if your support team stays within that limit, you won't have to pay anything. The pricing for WhatsApp Business API varies depending on where your customers are located. In some countries, the cost is higher than in others. Let's take a look at some of the countries with the largest WhatsApp user base. Brazil, with nearly 140 million WhatsApp users, has a cost of about four cents per conversation. In Argentina, the price is similar to Brazil. The country has over 40 million active WhatsApp users with an average price per conversation of four cents. Indonesia is in the top five for WhatsApp usage and the average price per conversation is three cents. In Hong Kong, on the other hand, the average cost per conversation is 0.3 cents. India, with the largest number of WhatsApp users worldwide, has an average cost per conversation of 0.6 cents. You can find a link in the description below for the complete list of countries and their prices. You will need a CRM or a BSP to use WhatsApp Business API. Alternatively, you can hire a team of developers to set it up and manage it. If you want an easier way, 
you can use a WhatsApp BSP like Como. Every WhatsApp BSP has its own pricing model. Usually, it consists of two components, WhatsApp business API fees and monthly subscription for their software. Every BSP has different charges for WhatsApp business API and additional tools. Some of the most common ways the charges are made depend on markup per message, which means you pay for each message sent or received through the WhatsApp business API. This is great for businesses starting with the WhatsApp business API and needing to know the messaging volume. The second one is markup per conversation. Suppose your BSP is using the pricing model. In that case, you'll be billed based on how many monthly conversations you have. A conversation is any message exchange between you and your customer within the 24-hour window. This can be cheaper if you have fewer conversations but send more messages per conversation. In a monthly or flat fee model, you pay a flat fee per month regardless of the number of messages or conversations. It's a good choice if you have a high volume of messages and want predictable billing. But it does come with some limitations. Sometimes providers add a one-time setup or license fee on top of markup and WhatsApp conversation charges when you start using their WhatsApp API. With regular API access, BSPs offer messaging, customer communication, and CRM tools to help manage your business. While the monthly subscription fees for BSPs can range between $10 to $100 per user per month, the benefits they provide are worth it. There are many options available, so it can be overwhelming to choose. Here is a list of some of the best WhatsApp CRM solutions. If you are on the hunt for a reliable BSP, Como can be the answer to all of your business needs. Let me explain why. Como offers many advanced tools that can help you optimize your business operations and communicate effectively with your customers through WhatsApp. And not only with Como, you get a unified inbox that connects every communication channel in one place, including Instagram, Messenger, Telegram, Viber, and email. This means you can chat with all your customers without leaving the app. In addition, Como provides personal lead cards, which are profiles for every potential and existing customer. Every lead card contains your whole conversation. You can chat with colleagues, leave notes, and set tasks to ensure everything is noticed. You can also use the personalized message templates to cover common messages and inquiries on WhatsApp and let the powerful AI assistant sales bot handle routine tasks, including greeting customers, routing them to the right sales reps, sending reminders, and generating invoices. So with Como, you're not just getting the WhatsApp API and its messaging, but also useful tools, including a dashboard or state tab, tracking options, and much more. Como's native WhatsApp Business API integration also comes with a convenient managing platform. You can easily create templates we've discussed, approve them, and top up your account. If you're curious about the cost of your WhatsApp Business API messaging with Como, there is a free WhatsApp pricing calculator. Select your country, estimate the number of conversations and messages you plan to have each month, and voila! you'll receive an estimated amount you will need. I'm attaching the link to it below. Well, that's it for today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time.